What's going on everybody? My name is CD and today we have another video in the Road to Damascus series. We have the very first pistol, the X-16. Now if you guys have been following the series at all, you know that I was working on some machine guns and then all of a sudden, riot shield, now a pistol. So this is basically what happened. I wanted to get the riot shield gold um, and obviously for that you need a secondary so I threw on a pistol and it turned out that the riot shield was terrible. Um, probably the worst gun I've gotten gold ever, and you guys can check out those videos if you want. So that left me with a lot of extra kills with my secondary, with the pistol. So just getting the riot shield gold, I actually got two pistols gold, so future videos. But the first one right here, the X-16. Now let's go through the attachments first, and you'll kind of see these throughout the pistol uh, gold Road to Damascus videos, but I kind of found a sweet spot, um, the attachments that I like on a pistol, and I've kind of put those same attachments on very similar pistols. So for example, the X-16, the 1911 and the M19 are very, very similar pistols, semi-automatic, you can kind of spray them down. And I play hardcore for this, pistol's much easier in hardcore, and there's a lot of times where you're like medium to long distance away from somebody and you'll get a hit marker in hardcore, but you can just spray with these pistols, but still you want that one hit kill. So this attachment setup right here will help you get as many one hit kills in hardcore as you possibly can. Obviously, if there's something you don't like about this setup, change it up to what you guys enjoy, but this was my setup getting the X-16 gold. So first off here, we have the monolithic suppressor. So I think this is the only suppressor that I've used in Modern Warfare. And the reason being is because of the damage range increase. So that damage range increase, basically what I talked about, will allow your one hit kill range to be further out. So you'll get more one hit kills. And you feel like James Bond running out of the silent pistol, but that's besides the point. We have the third uh, barrel on here, the Syngard Arms Advantage. I think for a while I was running the second uh, barrel until I unlocked the third one. We then have the laser, which I'm pretty sure I've had on every single gun so far that I've gotten gold. That first laser that is not able to be seen by others um, because I don't like that at all. Being that I feel like I kill a lot of people because I can see that laser, so I don't want to be that person. Then we have the GI Mini Reflex, my favorite sight in the game. And then finally the stippled grip tape because that just helps with your ADS and sprint to fire speed. Gets you a little quicker running around with your pistol. Other than that, here is the class. So as you can see here, I have a shotgun on because I don't know what else to really put on. I'm, I'm literally just running around with pistols right now. Before, I did have the riot shield here. Uh, we're using the pistol though. And then we have the normal perks, EOD, Ghost, Battle Hardened. We have special stun with Double Time, Tracker, and Scavenger. And then whatever you want here for your lethal and tactical. Right now I have a frag grenade because I think I have a challenge for it. But this is more than likely not going to affect uh, your pistol kills. I guess if you want to camp, throw on a Claymore, throw on a Proximity Mine, something along those lines. And then a tactical, honestly, whatever you would like. Stun grenade for me, just in case I ever need it. But that is basically the pistol setup right there. So be on the lookout for more gold guns coming your way. We're getting close. I think to halfway done uh, with gold guns on the road to Damascus. If you guys did enjoy the video, please click that like button down below. So if you guys have not already, and we'll see you guys later.